Welcome to Final Fantasy! How's it going, everyone? Um, just me tonight to finish the game off. Uh, we're in the world of ruin. We're at the very end of the game, guys. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of ready for this to be done. Let's load it up. Um, oh, a few things of note happened recently. Um, first of all, uh, I had to order a, I had to order some equipment from the states, and I couldn't really get it in Canada. At least not a, at least not at a reasonable price. Progressive faggotry in the Discord. Really, is there something happening? <clears throat> anyway, um, Matapasta has uh, Matapasta has my address, so he sent me a package of the equipment that I needed, plus some extra stuff. In the package was these new mic clips, right here. Watching you alone is so depressing. <laughs> Why? What's wrong, man? Okay. Yeah, Sir Socks, uh, PM it to me, dude. I'll check it out. But, um... That actually sounds kind of interesting, Tovar. But we got more... We got mic clips for uh, the four mics that we have. Just makes it a lot easier to pin to the shirt right here. It's closer to the mouth, but also it doesn't have to be, like, manipulated. It just kind of sits right here perfectly and points directly upward. We've kind of been wanting this for a while. Shut the fuck up. Hey, Colink. But here's the thing. In addition to the equipment that I ordered, Matapasta sent along a letter that he wanted me to open on show. So I guess I'm going to do that. Let's see what this says. Matapasta sent this letter along. There's nothing in the envelope that could be dangerous. It's just an envelope. It says, too much of a good thing is just right. Hold on. It says, get good with some really terribly horrible messy writing. <laughs> Look at that writing. Hold on, I'll get to that in a minute. Look at the writing here. Matapasta, what the fuck? <laughs> Do you like print with like a f one finger? <laughs> it says, get good, love. I can't even fucking read that. I can't read that shit. What does it say? There's a heart? Your something? I, I don't know. Um, oh, also, holy fuck, dude. Is this real? I mean, it's American. I don't fucking... This looks like Matapasta sent us a bunch of money. Which I, I, I greatly appreciate, Matapasta, but... I don't know if it's, if it's real or not. Is this real American money? I thought American money was green. Here, check this out. By the way, if this is real, holy fuck, thank you. This is a lot of money. But, dude. It's like $300. But I can't tell if it's real or not. Is this... Guys, you Americans out there, is this a real... Is this a real American bill? Like, I can't, I can't tell. Is this a real... Cause like it's it's not green it's blue, and like the, the hundred is in is in bronze it looks like with like a green a, a blue stripe down the middle. Is that real? Oh Jesus, that's really generous of you, Madam Pastor. Thank you. Holy shit, dude, that's incredible, man. Wow, that's amazing. That's legit. Oh damn. Thank you very much, dude. I don't know what, what you want me to do with it. Like, what do you... Do you have a game that you want us to play on the show or something? Do you have a request? That, that's amazing, dude. Holy fuck. That's really cool. <laughs> Matapasta wanted to be friends. They're all trying to get Matapasta's money. 
No, it's three one hundreds. Wow. That's amazing, dude. Thank you. I I really appreciate that, man. That's no, seriously, this is incredible. Um I think once the <laughs> finish the raven. Are you serious? Is that your actual Okay, I'll call Dave in for that. Um but no, like truthfully, thank you. Thank you for 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 the money. Um This is going to equal probably about $400 once it goes through the exchange rate. Which frankly is is a month of rent. You know, at, at this place. So thank you. This is this is basically rent paid. That's incredible, dude. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. If you if you seriously want us to play the Raven, we will play the Raven for three hundred dollars. We'll play the Raven, okay? Is there a crackle? Haha, <laughs> probably. All right. Should have requested to have me on the show. <laughs> oh, Colink. Ah, that's amazing, dude. Thank you very much. Um, only redeemable in the U.S. Uh, yeah, matter. We'll talk about it after the show. If, if you actually want us to play the Raven or anything else you like, we'll play something. Okay, we'll take a request. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, as for what the fuck's going on, um, apparently the world's been been thrown into eternal darkness. I've mi I'm mad you really happy over the years, so thank you. Oh, th that's awesome, dude. What a... Like, they got, like, shoddies. Border guards. Um, I do recall you being here, or being around for at least a year and a half. So you have good handwriting. Uh, Matt Apasa, when did you first start, start, um, start watching? Like, what was the first thing you saw of us? Was it Gamergate? So that, that would have been maybe three years of content at this point. Giant, just giant lights. I assume you can't like glitch over the fucking, you'd be like, oh, let's actually explore the world out there. Oh, guys. Guys, we kind of got separated here. I'm stuck on the outside. Can't go in there, obviously. Okay, here's how we'll get back. Okay. I do want to at least get a feel for this place while, uh, while we're still here before we go to the final fight. <laughs> they have, they made like a little okay. Jesus, I guess Taka isn't around anymore, huh? Oh well. The first indefensible. Damn. Concentrates at higher altitudes. Oh, so the entire planet is just covered in this shit and it's blocking out all the sun. And it's making the planet uninhabitable. Hey. Hey. Durandal ends up being the best weapon in the game, and it's the one that I got like really early on. Alright. I'll see you later. See you, mate. I'm still keeping up shop. Welcome. You think that you'd just Come be giving this stuff away to actual hunters because, you know, the fate of the human race fucking depends on it at this point.
old book. Awesome. There's not really, like, you don't get to see Cindy, do you? Or anybody else. There's no Cindy, there's no Iris, there's no Sid. Um, hold on. Hey, Dev, question. In your Mario RPG playthrough, did you beat the optional boss? Yeah, we 100% of Mario RPG. No, nobody, I absolutely care, man. Malicious, I don't know why you think I don't care, but I do. I 100% absolutely care, man. I care about when everyone started hanging out with us, dude. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Okay, let's find out the information here. Yeah, we beat Culex, dude. It's, it's in the... Uh, didn't Dave say he kissed someone for 200 US dollars, did he? Yeah, yeah, we, we beat Culex. And you can go see it in the video. Actually, Dave died a few times trying to do it. We've even got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. That would be our dragoon oh, lady. So you do know her? Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. But now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Oh, Biggs and Wedge are still around. Small army. No, 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 nobody's watching. I absolutely care when you showed I'm up, dude, of course. I'm happy to tell you everything I know. Oh, right, uh, about the Empire. Huh. Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. Dun, dun, dun. With those two gone, <laughs> Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. Don't I'm worry about it, Wing to Sir. Shit happens, man. I know. Welcome on board, though. How do... The, the, does the mic sound any different now that I have the new equipment on, by the way? The Chancellor's still around, though. In insomnia. Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. Their stories piqued Ignis' curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. Oh. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But... We did discover something pretty weird. Huh? While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Arden. Apparently he was hailed as a savior, healing all those who were ravaged by demons, only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. Huh. I'm more than happy to tell you everything well, I you know. Go. Wow, there's a lot the here. Side, we've come a little closer to understanding the So demons. I like they're just dumping all the info on at the end, aren't I they? I always thought they were animals, only more hideous and savage. But it turns out they're just ordinary people, unlucky folk infected by something or other that transformed them into monsters. There's no known cure as of yet. So death is the only mercy. Dragon Fat, we have I'm the uh, really Mario Player's Guide, Mario RPG Player's Guide, I know. and we used it during the show. Go check out those old videos, man, if you're interested in it. At least check out the one where uh, Dave lost a Culex and cursed it. We've got a lot of survivors pouring in from Accordo, too. What with all the demon attacks there as of late? <sighs> Not like it's much better here. Lestalem's practically overflowing with refugees from Insomnia. The Empire's recovery assistance fell by the wayside. No, I, we, I had that problem with Culex a couple times. Thankfully, Iris and the Marshal managed to evacuate the civilians. Now there's no one left. Except the demons. I spent my childhood in the Crown City. It's sad knowing it's gone, you know? Not for long. I became the king to reclaim our home. He's just now I'm sighing back. over there? Promised. All these years and you remembered. You bet. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Jared. Your Majesty? Do you remember my grandfather? Yeah. There's something I wasn't able to tell you back then. Because I was seven. Grandpa died because of me. Oh. It was my fault. An Imperial officer... Oh no, the battery! ...asked if I was from the Crown City. And that was just the beginning. What brings you here, young man? You didn't come here by yourself, did you? Oh, your grandfather's a butler at a manor. How very grand. Oh, he rubs shoulders with the royal family. You must be ever so proud. I answered him without thinking. A little after that, 
The man showed up at our hotel. Talcott, think what you will of me, but please know that Grandpa didn't give you away. Listen. <laughs> yeah? You're not a kid anymore. You should know by now what happened that day wasn't your fault. None of it. <sighs> you know, it's hard to ask someone about their pain, but it's just as hard to share your own with someone else. I appreciate you opening up to me. And I swear, I'll make things right. Except my shirt's dirty. Say, nobody blames you. Not me. Not your grandpa. Miss Beard, me. buddy. You have the king's word. I suppose you're right. You're this guy was a little kid in the back in the Thank in the you. present. Safe travels. Your Majesty. How do we actually leave anyway? Yeah, I like the first three Paper Mario games too. Because that's how this dumb shit is. That's how this game works, Niche. You just safe travels, Your Majesty. We just get on. We just get in. We just. What are you fucking? Also, how do we go back in time? Okay, we're walking there. This is the final fight. If I go here, that's the end of it. But won't the dog send me back in time if I talk to him? You can never leave. Okay, those of you who have played this before, how do you actually get sent back to the open world? Like, how do you, how do you go back 10 years? Because I know that there's a way to do it. I just don't know how you do it. An item? I never used this role through the entire game. What was the point of it? Oh, it's in the menu. Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. We can just, like, Ocarina of Time it all the way back to the capital. Yeah, 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 yeah. The inn. Oh, right here. Oh, call Umbra sends you back. Oh, okay, I get it now. All right, thank you. Let's take a snooze, though, before we go. I mean, I've just been asleep. Wait, hold on. It's still going to play this music? It's the chill, end of the world's happening music. Yeah, we, we, we fought some Tom Berry throughout the, sh throughout the show, throughout the series, dude. Best gun safety right there. Hey, he's so, not yeah, fair. No yeah, wedding no. just yet. <laughs> no wedding ever. Go figure. Hey, don't hate me. Hate the game. Yeah, yeah. So we can't expect a formal introduction for some while then. Yeah, at least not till all of this is over. <laughs> can't in good conscience leave a cold like while I thirty long into danger. Right. None of these guys look like they're thirty. You want to teach a master class in romance or acting? No acting here. I keep it real with the ladies. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sick of the sky being like this, aren't you guys? Next episode, we will go and beat the game. I'm gonna save it just in case. Yeah. Okay. Next episode, we go and beat the game. And Matapasta, thank you for everything, buddy.